Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're late enough as it is. Aw, oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. Hey, Mr. Freeman, I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you'd gotten to your hazard suit. Gordon Freeman. Control yourself, Gordon. My God, what are you doing? They don't just give any old riffraff off the street the honor of wearing that lab coat, Gordon. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Leak earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. Hopefully things will die down around here soon. Been a lot of suits coming and going. You're living in the past. That experiment is single handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor the incident. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated... Ah, I can't stand reading any word of you, Hello, Mr. Cross. Let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. Morning, champ. Hello. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? <sighs> Rat. No toilet paper.
Be a dear and fetch me a roll of toilet paper. Hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the booster up, angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes, they're, they're a bit strange to just... Oh, it's about to go critical. What in the blazes is going on oh. with our equipment? Oh. It was never meant to do this in the first place. Oh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. 
Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Beckrell's ghost. The radiation level is off the charts. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't Gordon feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon... We have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Shutting down! It's not! It's not shutting down! Oh, God! Oh. 